So where are we going again? Estate sale, but it's a really cool house. <laughs> Look at that house. But that's the one right there. <laughs> Hey team, so this is sort of a uh, one of the rare videos that I'll make where I just want to talk to you guys about something. Um, as you've probably noticed in our in our uh, videos, we go to a lot of estate sales, and that's primarily because we're in a new place, and um, you know we like to find bargains and all of that. And one bargain I found, which is super cool, is this. This is a Radio Shack Pro 64 scanner. Um, it's Back back in the day, this was actually one of the one of the top scanners that you could buy. Um, let me show you the specifications on this. Um, you know, it retailed in 1998, sold for about three hundred dollars, four hundred channels, which was a lot for the time, and it had a feature called HyperScan, um, which basically means it scans really really fast. The unit was designed by a company called GRE, and they actually made most of the Radio Shack scanners. Um, occasionally you would see one by Uniden, but, but GRE was their go-to manufacturer. Um, now, many scanners had the ability to connect to a computer and program them. Now, this particular scanner has that ability, but it's documented nowhere. There's a brief mention um, that if you want to do it, you should contact a technical person at Radio Shack to help you out. But other than that, no, no, no documentation in the sp scanner manual on how to do it, and uh, no information on any of the cables that they sold. So it was really kind of difficult to pull this together. Um, but I figured, you know, what the heck? So let's give it a try. So here's our recipe. Um, obviously, you need a scanner. Um, it's Radio Shack part number 2564. You can find these things on eBay. Uh, I got mine for a buck, but generally I've seen them from $30 to $60. Uh, I think it's worth it, especially if you're looking for kind of a throwaway scanner. Uh, I do have a unit in SDS100, but wow, you know, if I was walking around outside and I dropped it, um, that could ruin my weekend. Whereas if I drop this, eh, it was a dollar. Uh, you need a, a USB to serial adapter. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description. So you just pick up this exact one. And I love this one, by the way. I use it for everything. It's uh, quite reliable. You also have to buy um, a Radio Shack data loading cable. Uh, that's part number, Radio Shack part number 20-048. Uh, it's a data link cable that was originally advertised for a bunch of other scanners. It's easy to find on eBay. It comes with a CD. You just throw away the CD. And then you download a package called ProLink. This is open source software that supports um, this particular set of scanners. And you can go to antistatic.org and find it there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, plug in the USB cable uh, and, and set it up. Uh, properly. So to do that, you uh, you hit uh, uh, Alt R and type in Control Panel on your Win 11 machine. Uh, then go to Device Manager and find the COM port assigned to your new USB serial device. Uh, check the date uh, and the version of the driver. Uh, this is what I have, and I honestly don't remember if this is what Windows loaded or or what might have been on the CD with the with the uh, that came with the uh, the cable. Either way, uh, probably a good idea to make sure that your that yours matches mine. You don't need a null modem or any uh, fancy adapters. Just connect the Radio Shack cable to the USB serial adapter, exactly as shown in the picture here, uh, and it will it will work. You want to make sure that the serial port settings are changed to something uh, more appropriate to a device that's uh, ancient and uh, not very high powered. You might be able to go faster than 1200 baud. Um, I did 1200, um, eight even, one stop bit with no flow control. And that seems to work. It's not fast, and maybe it could be faster. I'll probably experiment uh, a bit with it, but I, I really just wanted it to be reliable. And so far this has worked every time. On the, 
On the actual Perlink software, uh, you'll install it, go to Options, and then RadioLink Modules, and you'll select the GRE Radio Interface Protocol Scanners by GRE. This is the one-way protocol. Um, so this is a this is a one-way deal. You can send data to the scanner, but you can't pull data from the scanner back to your computer. So just keep that in mind. If you make a cool spreadsheet with frequencies you like, save it because you won't be able to pull it back from the scanner. Uh, and then uh, make sure that the uh, that Perlink's configured for the right COM port. That'll be whatever COM port um, Windows assigned um, uh, to your serial cable. And now this is where the magic happens. You put the scanner in PC mode and you connect it to the cable. Um, so you turn on the scanner and just make sure everything's okay. Uh, step one, I just turn it on, make sure everything's good. I've got good batteries, it's scanning. Um, and again, keep in mind that whatever you've got in memory, this is going to overwrite. Then you turn off the scanner and you hold down the three and the inner keys while turning the unit on. This is really important. And when you do that, uh, as you see in step two, you'll see a little PC and then it'll be in program mode. So that's how you know you've got it in the right mode. And then you plug in the Radio Shack scanner interface cable. Now that plugs into the headphone jack. I had the volume turned up to a, a, about a quarter turn. I'm not sure if it matters, um, but a quarter turn seemed to work. Then you start Perlink, and uh, I usually test the connection by completely erasing the scanner memory. So when you bring up Perlink with nothing loaded into it, it will look like a spreadsheet with nothing in it, and that's fine. You start Perlink with no data loaded. You've got the scanner in PC mode. And then uh, press Control, F5, or simply go to Options, and then Upload All to Scanner. When the upload happens, this is going to take about 30 seconds, the display will show PC Connect while the data is being uploaded, and it will display Finish when the upload is complete. So then you just turn the unit off and then on, and then you should see that all of your, your channels are empty. So now it's time to build your frequency list in Microsoft Excel and then use Perlink to upload it to the uh, Pro64. So to do that, um, Perlink installs in Program Files, uh, Open Parent x86, Close Parent Perlink. So you want to get into File Manager and go to uh, Program Files and Perlink and then find, uh, find the install, find where the Perlink setup, uh, put all the files. There's a uh, there's a, a an initial program there's an initial uh, CSV file called sample. So you want to take that and copy it. If you open it, it'll look just like this uh, um, this example on the left, where you've got 462.5625 GMRS channel one. So you'll see a table. Uh, all you have to do is replace that with the frequencies that you want that you want to load. Uh, Perlink's a little buggy, so when you load the sample uh, table, actually when you load any table, it's going to complain with an error, but that's okay. The upload works just fine. So once you've built your table, uh, and like in my case, I just wanted to put all the uh, AAR railroad frequencies uh, into the scanner, uh, put the scanner in PC mode, load your CSV into Perlink, uh, make sure everything's plugged in, and upload it to the scanner power cycle it and you are good to go so uh, I'll do a <coughs> excuse me I'll do a demonstration of how that works right now um, but by the way if this has been helpful to you in any way um, please check out our channel um, like comment subscribe do all the things um, share this with your friends and let me know if content like this is of interest to you I, I occasionally hack devices and uh, I'll make a video of it if, um, if it's something that uh, people want to see. So, so let's do that. So I got my scanner right here, and I've got my where's my cable? And I've got my Perlink cable right here. So we plug the cable into the scanner. And we hold down enter and three, and we turn it on. 
Okay, see how it's in PC mode? That's what you're looking for. Alright. So, so just like that. Alright, let me f pull up the uh, software. Alright, so here you can see yeah. Jupiter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Team died. I'm just curious. Yeah, alright, so here's here's ProLink. I'm sorry about the resolution. Um, I can't really make that bigger, but what you want to do is you want to uh, oh, this. you want to go into file and then uh, Okay, so you'll get this er error, right? It says an invalid, argu invalid argument was encountered. Okay, whatever. So you do that, and then, let's see if I get this right. So, uh, let me try to move this down, this over. Okay, so then you go to options, and you go, uh, you can either upload selected to scanner and you can select a range or you can upload all. I upload to all because I just don't, I don't mind if it blows away all the, uh, all the frequencies. All right, so upload to scanner. And you can see how it says PC connect. And since it's 1200 baud, it's gonna send all 400 channels. So that'll be the 189 uh, American Railroad channels and then a whole bunch of blank ones. So this will take a second to do. Actually, it'll take more than a second to do. Okay, almost there. Yay, finished. Okay, so it's kind of cool that it works. I mean, this is almost a live demo, so I'm kind of surprised this is all working. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay, so we're finished. The reflection. So we're finished, and now uh, here, check this out. So we turn it off, and we uh, unplug the data cable, and then we turn it on, and there it is. All my frequencies are in there. How cool is that? I wonder if it looks better with a little light on. Nope, you can barely even tell. So, uh, so there you go. That's, that, that's my demo of my dollar scanner. Um, all the parts, the, the RS-232 to USB uh, cable, that's $17. Um, the Radio Shack scanner cable, and it works with a bunch of Radio Shack scanners. Um, I probably already have one. I think I spent $29 on it on eBay. So you can find the scanner on eBay. You can find the cable on eBay. Uh, and you can find the USB link on Amazon. Well, that's it. So, um, again, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and do do let me know if you find this kind of thing interesting, because I'm always tinkering around with something. Um, usually it's vintage radios or old computers or whatever, you know. So, uh, and I'm happy to talk about it if that's uh, something you'd find interesting. So, stay safe. And uh, thanks for watching. Welcome to our new home. <laughs> Stay safe, lah. Di pa namin na bibile. Well, this house is selling for a one point one million dollars. <laughs> Sana afford namin. Kena kaya kaya masalasalok to. Thank you.